Hi Cougars, I'm Lupita and this is the Cougar Campus News. Cougars, the fire victims of Sonoma and Napa counties need your help. Items are needed for donations. Please see Ms. Smith and K6 for, for a list of items or you can drop off donations to the ad room in K6. Thank you in advance for your aid to the fire victims. Attention all 9th and 11th graders. Challenge Day will be held on Thursday, October 26th. To, to participate in this amazing day, fill out a permission slip and return it to Ms. Chad in the counseling department by Thursday, October 19th. Spots are limited, first come, first serve. Now it's time for our weekly Q&A with Mr. Nazar. Hey, Mr. Nazar. So, can you tell us a little bit about the weather and um, sports teams? Yeah. Well, obviously, you know, throughout the entire Bay Area, we got the issue around the fires and, you know, the, the well-being of the people up in uh, the wine country is on all of our thoughts. Uh, for us on the coast, uh, fortunately, we have probably the best weather of all the areas uh, around uh, because of the breezes and, and our proximity to the, co uh, the ocean. However, we're still being very precautious. Uh, you know, for example, PE is going to be inside for the next couple of days unless we get a, 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 an alert that says it's not a concern. Um, athletics, uh, we're going to find out uh, on uh, for the football game for Saturday. It's scheduled Saturday, uh, and it'll be determined by Sacred Heart Prep uh, whether the game is played or not. So we're playing it by ear, uh, but we're looking at the safety and well-being of our students. Do know though, Joe, that our classes uh, for PE are inside. Uh, we've also made a, a multi-use room available for all students. Library available uh, before school break, lunch, and after school. Thank you, Mr. Nazem. Students, homecoming is happening next week. Make sure you have served any and all detentions if you want to participate in any of the activities during the week including the dodgeball tournament, giant relay, lip sync battle, everything during the homecoming assembly, the football game, and the dance. Don't be left out, get them done. A representative from the University of Washington will be on campus in the quad at lunch Monday, October 16 to answer any questions you have about their program. The rep will also be in the library during seventh period. We will be on a Tuesday schedule due to Super Tuesday. If you would like to meet the rep during 7th and you have a class, please contact Mr. Barnes for an out-of-class pass. Film Society meets today at lunch in Mr. Boysen's room 8-8. Cheer practice will be held in the MU today. Now here's Joe with sports. The varsity volleyball team lost to Burlingame in four sets. Riley Donovan led the Cougar offense with 13 kills followed by Mackenzie Mel with 12. Sophie Barger had 27 assists and served three aces. Alex Hoselik had 22 digs and 32 serve receives. Ashley Sheehy served a strong match, scoring two aces. In football news, the Cougars varsity and JV games scheduled for tomorrow versus Sacred Heart Prep have been postponed until November due to poor air quality. Now here is Mr. Olson with the Daily Trivia. Well, happy Friday out there, Half Moon Bay High School. The answer to Wednesday's question was the state of Washington. Yeah, the winner of the Great Pumpkin Way Off was a farmer from up in Washington. Congratulations to Mr. Agundas in his fourth period class. They were the fastest answer. Now today, the category once again is the Half Moon Bay Pumpkin Festival. We'll see you at the festival this weekend, and have a fantastic Friday out there, Half Moon Bay. It hurts along with Ray Raw, and this is the Weekly Leadership News. Cougars, the spirit store is open every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at lunch, so stop by and buy your Cougar gear. Did you know that homecoming has already started? Each class has been assigned one home football game to clean up the bleachers afterwards, and so far the freshmen are in the lead. A special thanks to Logan Bautista, Cesar Saravia, Louise Jalens, and Tamia Parsons for helping pick up trash after games their class wasn't even assigned to. The homecoming dodgeball tournament is going on this week at lunch, so stop by the gym to cheer on your class. 
Remember that each day, every, each day next week is a homecoming spirit dress up day. Every class can earn points every day. On Monday, dress up as sidekicks. On Tuesday, the theme is heroes. Wednesday, villains. Thursday, royalty. And Friday will be all out black and orange. And come to the quad at break all next week to cheer on your class during the homecoming break time activities. Seniors, remember that in order to graduate, you must complete 35 hours of community service. If you have not completed those hours or would just like to gain more, please come and join us at the Pumpkin Festival. Seniors will be selling parking spaces from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. This is our biggest fundraiser, and if for more questions, feel free to contact Tamia Parsons, Alondra Rodriguez, or Grace Garcia. Cougars, today you guys will be voting for the 2017-2018 Homecoming Queen and King. The voting will take place during advisory. In case you forgot the nominees, here's a quick reminder. Queens, Tamia Parsons, Alondra Rodriguez, Bella Archer, Cameron DeBose, Lily Moffat, Tatiana Ettinger, McKenna Colucci. Kings, Cole Wilkinson, Raven Shaliff, Cesar Sarabia, John Howell, Chase Hoffman, Joe Lemos, and John Medina. Thanks for watching and have a fabulous Friday, Cougars!